As political campaigns are ahead of the 2023 election get in full swing, the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is among the favorites for the presidential election scheduled for February in 2023. The women's wing of the All Progressive Congress, Legal State Chapter on Monday, staged a solidarity walk for the party's presidential candidate and his running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima. The rally was also organized to mobilize support for the second term bid of the Lagos State Governor, Babajire Sonwolu, and his deputy, Dr. Bafemi Amzat. Joining us on this show right now, this morning, as we discuss how far the women intend to go for the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, is Lagos State APC Women Leader, Jumoke Okoya Thomas. Jumoke Okoya Thomas, welcome to the morning show. So tell us about this uh, solidarity work by women uh, for Bola Metinumbu and also uh, for the uh, Lagos uh, gubernatorial candidates. That happened in Monday, on Monday. But some people are saying that that was in response uh, to the solidarity work across the country uh, for candidate of the Labour Party, uh, Peter Obi. So was this uh, a way of APC saying, oh, we are also here and uh, we are present? Or what was the purpose and what was the outcome? Good morning. Good morning to you. Um, I want to tell you that um, before I became the, um, the women leader in Lagos State, that I was also a three-term House of Reps member of the House of Representatives in Abuja, where I represented Lagos Island constituency. One, and effectively so. Um, I want to tell you something. Before Peter Obi came out, as you mentioned, I've been women leader. My job as women leader in Lagos State is to mobilize all women out for all my candidates. That's um, with no exception um, to uh, my principal, Ashiwa Jubola Metinumbu, and of course my governor, Governor Jide Sonwolu. Um, I walked through all our 20 local governments um, in Lagos State. I've been to each one of these local governments. I galvanize our women because we know the right thing to do in this country. And enough of mentioning a certain candidate um, that had um, maybe five point something million population in his state, comparing that state with my state with over 20 million people and yet increasing by the day. Enough of that. We know what my principal has done in this country, and I will not sit down and vote for a man who doesn't stay in this country. Every four years, they are back home. No, we have to think. We have to open our eyes to do the right thing in this country. Thank you very much. OK, two questions. Uh, number one would be, where is your principal as we speak? That's number one question. My principal is abroad holding a meeting. He had to go to London to hold a meeting. Okay. Yes. So that's why I wasn't at the peace Every signing. Board, no, I didn't invite him. Wasn't at the peace signing, the peace accord signing. He had to travel. That's what he has done. Okay. Thank you. Secondly, the APC government in the last eight years prevailed over one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the world. As we speak today, one in 22 women in Nigeria would die at childbirth. 34% of the global rates of women dying at childbirth is in Nigeria. So what differently will be done as regards this? If the APC has prevailed over a government with this staggering stat, as regards women's health? Let me speak for Lagos State. Um, I would not speak for the national. Why? Because I represent today Lagos State women. But you just spoke on behalf of your principal. Yes, for Nigeria. And I will tell you of his antecedents. I will tell you of what he has done, you know, in the past for this state. And that applies. You do not come up without credentials and say you want to, you want to rule this nation. No, I'm asking you about maternal health. My, that maternal is health. where I am going. Yes. With maternal health, you will see what the government of Lagos State is doing for the women. And that's why I had to... You know, apart from walking on Monday 
you will look at our t-shirts and see what we have. It's a global sign of cancer awareness for the month of October. That was why I had to introduce that because I know feverishly my first lady, Dr. Claudia Nasonwolu, it's not everybody that goes on here to make noise. We just don't make noise. We work in Lagos State. I don't, for instance, you don't, maybe this is my second time of being here in Arise. And when I have to come, I come reasonably. I come because I have issues to discuss. In Lagos State, look across hospitals being built. What I have requested for, they are already preparing for me. And that is going into the APC secretariat where we can have the women tested. You know, we can screen them. A lot of them, they see this as stigma. Having cancer under, having cancer, cancer on their chest, they see it and they don't want to come out for care, for help. I have requested that they should come out because what I'm looking at is beyond what even the government of Lagos State is doing. We are moving across and you know, in touch with the doctors without borders. You know, they, I am telling you there are things that they are doing. A lot of women will come to me, we refer them to our hospitals and they take care of them without collecting a cobble from okay, them. This health. is Lagos. Maternal with health maternal health, health what I, asked what I am yes, also the, telling the you about. Let me go to that. Maternal health that we are seeing in Lagos State is real care. I have seen so many people, they don't have money to take care, they want to give back, they call us as politicians, even though I don't have anything to give as a politician, do you understand? We don't, do with, we don't deal with money in the um, party. It's the executive side, they have all the money and they're spending it. All you need to do is to look at how people were taken care of during COVID and you are now talking about nothing. Why would they not take care of our women? They are there. You understand what I am saying? Let, let me tell you what I want to say. Before even APC came in at the national level. If you have to take me back to that one, we know what they, what they did. Because then I was in the National Assembly. I think we have moved beyond where we were. There's no government people don't complain about across the world. But please let us do this constructively. Uh, the stats here, but uh, if, if you, in case you missed it, says one in every 22 women die in Nigeria. We have one of the worst maternal health rate in the world. You know, there and, are some statistics the APC, that no, are hang, not hang adding up. I look at minute, reality. Hang on a minute. You can say the World Health Organization statistics is not adding up because the World Health Organization, I'm sure we all know the World Health Organization said this, mm -hmm. and it said the life risk of dying during pregnancy or childbirth or after an abortion is 1 in 22 in Nigeria compared to the average of 1 in 4,900 in the world. They are saying 34% of global maternal deaths mm -hmm. happen in Nigeria. And this APC government has been here for eight years. What has been done about it? I want to say that beyond eight years, what was done? I think they are doing better than any government that had come to power in this country. That is what I have been trying to put to you, that our hospitals are better equipped than they were. And we are working feverishly to help our Nigerian women. That is what I see. You know, I just, I, I deal with facts. I know the figures are saying this, but that does not stop. You know, one thing we need to do, if you can't cope with a number of women, uh, of children, please reduce it. And the people that goes out there to have more women are people that are more children, are people that cannot afford it. You have five children. I, I mean, the, the next man has two. Sometimes, my, my son was telling me, mommy, please leave me alone with my one daughter. I will try. Because I was asking for more grandchildren. She, he said, I will try, just wait. Because this is what I can afford. The school the, the child goes to is very expensive. Okay, let's talk about something else. The Thank campaigns you. have started. Up to this moment, your candidate has not yet announced his manifesto. Mr. Bayo Nonoga was on this program. Other persons have been here. They've been saying, oh, don't worry, the manifesto will come out. The manifesto has not come out, except it came out uh, while I was out of town. And then, you know, uh, the campaign has also not been uh, properly uh, launched. We're told that the uh, campaign council is still being tinkered with. Today, at uh, 3 o'clock, the APC... Uh, campaign council is supposed to meet maybe by tomorrow 
will have some clarity as regards you know what that campaign council is all about. Yeah, Maybe you can talk about the manifesto. Now the second thing is uh, about uh, the event that occurred in Lagos. Yesterday we were discussing the attempt to mobilize persons in uh, Nollywood uh, for celebrity endorsement and all of that. And Mrs. Uh, Joker Jacobs was mentioned for Luke Daramola uh, was mentioned. And your name was mentioned as the person behind uh, all of this. Okay, so how much of a strategy is that? I because I asked you earlier you. about outcome. I just told you that uh, my job is to mobilize women, whether you are a politician, whether you are non-political, um, I am working also with other women that I tagged super women. And these women, they are out there. We know they've done so much for themselves in life. And um, I'm looking up to all those ones to also come out. We, the politicians, the politicians amongst us, the senators that have had um, relationship with in the past, the House of Reps members across the country, we all came out for Ashiwajibola Metinubu, and we'll reach out for, to all of our friends at that level. They've made names for themselves. They are, I said they are self-made people. They are out there, and they are in numbers, and they have had relationships, too, with Ashiwaju, and they are ready to support him because they know his personality. No, but don't dismiss the question. Yes. What we were told is that some of these, uh, you know, uh, people, they were paid. That money exchange hands. What a shame. Well, that's what, a, what, what is a, out there. I mean, that's politics for you. And that, that is the lies we read all the time from the internet. The disobedient people feel those sort of lies. I see them every day. But what's, one thing I'll say to that, our children should not be misled. We, some of us, brought up our children very well. And I'm asking for all mothers to get to their children's minds, not to be misled, not to be lied to. They need to know to, to have the facts. You are, you've been asking me questions here about Ashiwa do not bringing out his manifesto. You just have to wait because he is bringing a superb job out. Just wait and see. He does not play with issues like this. You, you want to push people, you want to hurry them out to do the wrong thing, and then we start talking about it. No, wait. You want some things, you want some answers. Ashiwaju himself will, himself will come before you, and he will give you answers. You will see. But that's not my own aspect of the job. My job is to work with women. And I'm working with women you know, that are responding to this particular man because they all, a lot of women know him. Look, Ashiwaju had worked through the years. It's not every four, four years that this man comes on to come and tell us he wants to run an election. Through the years, he has met with a lot of these people. Sometimes when I watch Arise and I see some people come out there to criticize him, I have seen them in his house requesting one, for one favor or the other. And then they'll sit here and start dancing all over the place that, no, it's not right. Let's be honest with the things we tell Nigerians. It's not for today. Because it's for tomorrow. Our children are watching us. The way we are turning politics into in this country is not the way I was brought up. And it's not the way I learned politics from the University of Politics of Ashiwaju Bola Metinumbu. You will abuse him till kingdom come. He will not answer you. He's a very focused man, and that's one thing I admire in him. Okay. I mean, let's go back to the issues. I was happy when you talked about cancer, because especially with women, it's affecting them a lot. You said you've worked on many cancer centers. How many world-class cancer treatment centers have you been able to get and build with all this work you have done? That's one. When it comes to women, we talk about our children. Under the APC government, out-of-school children was about 13 million before. Now, the figures are over 20 million out of school children. Let's talk about these numbers. Just two questions. Um, you said something just now about our children being educated. And what we see is so, so alarming that the ASU is being political as at now, and I don't like it as a person. 
because children's education means a lot to some of some mothers. They are being political. What I see around me in Lagos State is that lecturers are at work. Go to our tertiary institutions. That is what we are going to take to the federal level. All our lecturers are at work. None is on, on strike. How can you be on strike for so many years and these children, look at what they are turning into. They all they do. A lot, some of them are in Dubai disgracing Nigeria. They are in the US disgracing Nigeria because some people have decided not to do their work. They are being political. That is what is going on. I talked about out of school children, which are about two million in Lagos too. Of course, Lagos is part of Nigeria. Yeah. That is but what Ashwaju is going to change. Wait and see. In Lagos State, you see a lot of children. People are bringing their children from across the country. They dump them in Lagos. On our next, whether you are from the north, from the south, from the east, is this our uh, income that is nursing everybody? Okay, madam. Let's Thank talk you. about no, politics. Ask about cancer centers you've built. How many cancer centers, world class treat, cancer treatment centers you've built? My governor continues to build. Can you health mention some of them? Can you mention some of them? I cannot so readily that do can that. Go there if they have cancer I cannot readily do that. But if you go to Lassoot and you go to a health commissioner, he'll take care of this thing. They will give you the information you need. Okay. okay, madam. Let's talk about the environment of politics in Lagos. Yes. Lagos State, to be specific. There is this growing perception that in Lagos State, if you don't support uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the place is not safe for you. Supporters of uh, Peter Obi, who had uh, a rally on October 1, uh, they're saying that two of their men, flag boys, they call them, were attacked in Oshodi. When was that? No, on October 1, by persons they said were touts. Hmm. And those persons, you know, have said they were beating up and all of that. And so people are saying, look, it's becoming a trend uh, in Lagos for anybody who does not support what uh, your principal wants you know, to be beaten up or to be abused. <laughs> I hope you are aware of the story. Will Lagos be safe for everybody to campaign, whatever their political persuasion? Because we also had the candidate of the uh, Labour Party on this program, who also alleged at some point that his campaign billboards and posters were removed just because he does not belong to the APC. So you are leading the women. Can women who do not subscribe to APC or who are not supporters of uh, uh, Tinubu, are they safe in Lagos? Please, people are, they are free to vote whoever they want to vote. They are free to cast their vote that day. One thing I know is that those are PVCs in our party, they are for Ashiwajubola and Tinubu. In terms of security, Lagos is, is the most secured in this nation today. And you cannot say no to that because you live here. No, but they say some they, touts are beating they people. They say some touts. Some obedient, disobedient people are beating people. You don't know. That was why I surprised them. I pulled our women out without talking about it because I know they will be out causing problems all over the place. I decided not to. I don't do media arguments. No, I don't. I'm a very forthright person. That's how I'm known in politics. And in our party, and I'm repeating this, we don't do money politics, especially in Lagos. We don't do money politics. We will apply it. I had to call my personal friends, raise little, little funds. Even the guy that is selling small chops gave me some small chops free of charge. You don't have to make it money. But there's a, studio, a, a video in circulation saying that, look, ahead of the event that you organized, yes. that you know, um, some persons went to markets around Lagos. Do you and believe they were told I, to pay 500 Naira? Oh, no, 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 part wait. of that? No, no, you don't know the story yet. Yes. That they were forced to pay 500 Naira and they were all instructed to show up at the rally. Do, so do why, you, why force people? I am telling you that this is not true. That is one thing about politics. I'm not a full politician, let me tell you that today. I'm in between. And whatever I do, I try not to smear my name because I have name and integrity to protect. I don't like smearing my fingers on anything. I reached out to some friends. They brought out little, little money. Those ones without money, what they do? For Laredo, Laredo gave me small chops free of charge. This woman called Joker Silver, 
I saw her at my cousin's um, 70th birthday. I said, Joker, you must show up. And she did. You see, they, they respect some faces in this Lagos state. And I'm happy, even my personal friend, very old friend of mine, also from Mofechi, she was there. Some people you didn't see. You understand? All of these people, I have had connections with them in the past, and we respect ourselves, which is reciprocal. Let me tell you, go on the internet today, you will see all sorts of abusive languages. What are we trying to build, inculcate in our children? It is not right. We have to stop it. After politics, what goes on? Then they will become what we do not want. Look at what happened in the United States. Look at what happened at the Capitol Hill. That is what we are trying to breed here. No, we were not brought up. We cannot lose our values. Okay. We were not brought up like that. Okay. Uh, so other things are definitely cropping up. We've had, like Dr. Bati said, we've had people being told that if they don't vote for your party in markets, that they might lose their stores and the likes. That's mm. one. Number two, you talked about so much work being done for mother and child. I'd like to ask you, how many primary health care centers have been able to be built along this axis? Because a lot of people complain that there are not too many primary health care centers on this axis. Can you tell us about the private health care centers? Primary health care centers. Primary health Government okay. built. Government built. Okay, thank you very much. You, I also you know count? of some politicians that have used their money and their constituency projects to do what you are talking about. All you need to do is to look out there. You'll find them. No, on this lucky axis. You can tell yes, us some of them. What, you, you know, because, that is what I'm saying. No, no, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yes. You came here now. You said... Mm -hmm. After going to House of Rep for so many years, you're not mm -hmm. a politician, mm -hmm. and uh, you're saying you're in between, yes, and I'm you're saying that a lot has been done, but you should be able to tell me some of these in things that have been done. In my local government, for instance, how, as one of my constituency projects, yes. in my local government, yes. I built one in my immediate local government, which is Lagos Island, okay. and I equipped, and people are still using. What's it called? With schools. What's it I called? I left it under... What is it called? So I, I left it, it under the management of the council. I don't okay. make noise, like I said. With our schools, I bought them vehicles to ferry children to and from, you understand, school. I don't make noise. I don't come on here because I don't need to lie about anything. I am genuine and they see it there. Whatever I do, they see it out there. You ask me one other question. Please, I've forgotten. This 65-year-old yes. age. Uh, I asked you about the fact that in various markets in Lagos now, mm -hmm. they are telling people that they must get their PVCs and vote for your party, the APC, that if they don't, that some of their stalls will be terminated. And, and these are empirical facts people are saying. People have a right to talk. You don't have the monopoly of I know. talking. They have I a right know. to talk. I know they do, yes. but they should be factual. These are facts. Hey, bring it out. These are facts. You, you have a screen. I don't have television station. Let's see. And I will also bring out what the disobedient people are doing. What the, you see, one thing I like about Atiku, he's not doing this campaign of calumny. Whatever he's doing is okay. And my, my principal will never go out there to condemn anybody. And he has said so all the time. I have not sent you. Just continue doing your work. So these are the people. Okay, don't worry. Every, every, everybody will be all right by February. Yes. All yes. these uh, emotional campaigns I that people are doing. Uh -huh. People will find their level, yes, you know, when it is all over. Yes, so, so my brother. It's the Nigerian people that should decide. But let me ask you, that rally that you organized on Monday mm -hmm. was not just for Ashwajibola Ahmed Chinubu. Mm -hmm. There was also the um, Sonwulu Amzat mm -hmm. side of it. Mm -hmm. And I saw Dr. Ibijoke uh, Sonwulu and the wife of uh, Dr. Amzat, you know, at that event. Talk to us about why you think Lagosians should vote again for, uh, you know, Sonwulu and uh, Amzad, who some people are saying, both of them have just turned themselves into campaign boys for Tinumbu and have abandoned uh, the work in Lagos uh, since uh, Tinumbu declared his interest. Hmm. You know, I deliberately picked um, a work free day, which is supposed to be a public holiday, because I didn't want to disturb. Around that area, you see that these are people selling their wares, more so Igbo people. I said, I am not going to disturb that process. They must sell their wares while we quickly run through that place to the stadium. When you see, I invited them. 
I invited the governor. I invited the deputy. I invited Dr. Mrs. Claudia Nasowolu. I always feel sorry for that woman because of all the things I hear and I read about her. She worked so hard. You know, she's a medical doctor. She abandoned what she was doing. And she's there taking care of her women. When you say something about healthcare, I say, go and ask the appropriate quarters. I'm not going to give you wrong information. They will give you the information that you need. So what I'm saying is that I invited them and you cannot see women and not want to be part of what they are doing. It's a state. It's supposed to be a house, but deliberately I decided not to involve them. But I invited them and they honored our invitation. So what is wrong with that? I think people are just not happy about what happened on Monday, but a lot of people are happy. People that mean well for our party. Okay, Jumaka. Yes, sir. We need to wrap up now. When is Bola uh, Ahmed Tinumbu, your candidate, expected back? This meeting that is holding in London. I'm a woman. Is leader. it going to be a long, uh, uh, a permanent uh, meeting? You will show up very soon. And I tell you, How soon? within the next 48 hours, I know the Ashwaju. He's never spent more than two weeks outside. Go and check, go and Google. Even my little self here, when I'm not well, I quickly run out to oh, take a rest. Well. Are you no, 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 that no, it's I not well? I am not saying he's not well. I said my little self here, when I need to rest, I will quickly go out. But, but why can't you rest? You, in you, you, go, you go out. How? How you, you, you go out. We all wow. go out. Do you have the evidence? You, you, we all go out. Do you we have take a, a break. Do you have a from, copy of my from international people passport? Calling me. Do you, I take a break from people you, knocking you, on my house. Help me, help but, me. But, 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 on my doors. But before we go, because of mother and child, one in, but uh, I'm talking about childhood mortality is very high in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. All right? One in every 13 Nigerian child born dies before they get to the age of one. You see, one thing you Please, keep quickly, doing, as we wrap up. I will, I will do that. One thing, you keep making reference to what is happening outside of this country. Rome was not built in a day. They are having their issues. The strongest dollar, the strongest currency today is dollar in the world. They took over from, from Stalin. They are, Stalin is struggling after, after dollar today. No, but it's one to one again now. In but fact, the Stalin I has said, beat the dollar now. When I was schooling in England, mm -hmm. do you understand? 1.4 was what we were getting. Mm -hmm. Not uh, struggling. You know, so what I'm saying is they put a man on that seat, Biden. Do you understand? They call him old, rickety, and all the rest. You know what? There's something in his brain. That thing that is in his brain is what is giving them a stronger currency and a stronger nation. And that is what Ashwaju will give us. Anyway, will give us. Okay, we have to go. At least we have one take-home assignment. Merci. When that uh, manifesto is finally ready, Merci beaucoup. that uh, you manifesto, will see. we you will talk about child out. mortality yes. and what you intend to do. Yes, I will still be here of God. to invite you back to Thank come and explain much. I will be back. Thank what you. the manifesto Thank you.